Hello, this is a trade site educational report. I'd like to talk about two topics tonight. Uh, first of all, I'd like to talk about gap fills, and secondly, I'd like to talk about how to recognize sort of bland, narrow trading action and what it means from a trading perspective using our Seeker and Comer tool. So first, let's talk about the Seeker and Comer tool. This is the ES uh, E-mini futures five minute chart going back about uh, eight trading days. and. One of the things that's interesting about this chart, you can see the gaps we've had back and forth, uh, a couple of gaps down, a couple of gaps up. We've really made no progress. Overall, the ES has traded the last two weeks in about a 20 point range. And if I broaden this out and look back uh, even further, uh, you can see it really didn't do much even right before that. Some of the days leading up to this were so incredibly flat. This is back about 12 days now. But what's interesting is for those that are familiar with our Seeker and Comer tools, you know that you're looking for what we call a 13 buyer sell signal. You usually get one a day or so on the futures. Um, it's pretty common. You might miss a day here and there. What's interesting about this chart is here I've got eight days up and I can keep going starting from today and, and going backwards now. There's not a single Comer 13 buyer sell signal on this chart. You, have to, you actually have to go all the way back to uh, February 28th right here where you got the 13 sell signal that led to a pretty sharp rollover in the futures. I can't remember the last time we've gone that long without enough market uh, movement in one direction to get an, a setup and then a, a seeker buyer or Comer buyer sell signal. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. It shows you how narrow this market is. You just can't get the energy up either direction to really get a signal and uh, it's quite unique if you're familiar with the Seeker and Comer it just tells you how bad the market's been lately in terms of activity because I, I can't think of another period where that has happened like that. Now the other thing I wanted to focus on here is uh, even though the, the action has been fairly contained I wanted to talk about gap fills and just looking at this chart right here um, before I zoom it in a little bit you can see remember gaps fill 80% uh, of gaps fill the same day that they occur 95% of them fill within a week Okay. So if we just start over here, uh, we got a gap up one day, and that gap did so that gap did not fill that same day. And then here we got a gap down. We did reach up and, and fill that gap right here, and then we finally got a gap down that fulfills the gap that was over here, okay? Because you went past it and moved up. Now what you'll notice is remember this gap's not filled at this point in time right here, but you got one, two, three days later you reach up and fill that gap, okay? Then you have a gap up this morning here. This one filled the same day. You have a gap up here, and again, one and a half days later, that one fills. Pretty amazing. So even though you know, even though we've had the narrow action that we've had, the gaps are really becoming destinations for the market. And the other way I think I would point out is, here's a look at the ES zoomed in just a little bit. And again, look at this. Uh, this was a Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. So Tuesday we got this big gap up, right? And just take a really good look at what happens here because. Uh, you trade all day Tuesday, you get your gap down on Wednesday, right? And we head fake up, and then we roll to the downside. And in that downside move, we exactly filled the gap from Tuesday. And then we move back up, move back down, a little gap up here. And on this move up on Friday, we exactly had filled uh, the gap from that right there. So that's pretty interesting is to see how this market fills these gaps so precisely. So again, this one here, this one here actually filled. So we've got this one left at uh, 1540 or so that we're going to be looking at to fill in the next few days. Keep in mind that we've got a short week ahead uh, because of the Good Friday holiday. So gap fills, when the market's in very narrow range activity, gap fills are almost a must at some point in time. And just remember that if you start to think, oh, I'm going to play you know, the breakout of this range or whatever, if you've got those gaps left behind and there's not a lot of volume in the market and we can't even get up enough energy to create Seeker and Comer signals for us, you're probably going to be looking at the nearest gaps that you've left and that's going to be where the market's going to trend towards. So good luck with your trading this week.